Welcome back guys. Today I'll show you how to use uh, basically how to run and compile Java code into Visual Studio Code Editor. Visual Studio Code Editor is open source code lightweight code editor. You can write so many different kind of programming languages. It has very nice support with a huge amount of plugin and extensions. Okay, very first thing if you have never, you know, used Visual Studio uh, Code Editor, you can go into this URL here code.visualstudio.com and of course the download you can download into different based on whatever environment you are you are using whether windows or mac or linux or whatever so you can download the appropriate version here so i'm using the windows machine and i have already downloaded i'm going to skip that part so um I have the Visual Studio Code Editor is open here, and then I have this folder called Running Visual Running Java in Visual Studio Code. All right, so I'm going to create a folder here, give it a name at Java. Of course, you don't you don't have to you can name whatever you name whatever you like, but here I'm just so. Let's go ahead and create a class here, um, Java Demo, the Java extension here. Uh, of course, you know, very first time uh, when you are using it, there is a note. In my case, I have already downloaded the extension or plugin. That's why you will see. Um, but in when you when you if you do not have a plugin, this is this is what you have to go. You have to do. You go into this um, extension here, and you search for the plugin. The plugin that we are looking for is Java Extension Pack. Java extension pack right here. In my case, I have already installed this Java extension pack. This plugin is from the Microsoft. Uh, before this, you had to use two plugins, one for debugging from the other vendors. So this one is good for like IntelliSense and for the debugging purposes. Make sure you you uh, install this plugin. In my case, I have I had already installed it, and then. Yeah, that's all you have to do in terms of login that you need. And then um, let's go, go here in our code. So um, let's write this. And so it has really nice intelligence. You see, as you can see, it automatically figures out it's a main method. I would I would like to have a main method so that I can run. Let's write very simple code. We just want to so we're going to so um, string. And I was just going to print this statement here. See how nice the intelligence is. I really love it. And just. Okay. Let's go ahead and save our class. Um, uh, very first thing, uh, next thing you have to do, of course, you as a Java developer, you know, you need to have your JDK, Java development kit already installed in your system. For example, in my case, I have already um, in my um, program files to Java, I have a JDK 10.02 already set. And then um, if you go into run the system environment variable, as you can see, my Java underscore home is set to that JDK. It's pointing to that JDK. And so that's that's of course you have already said and after that you have well, uh, next thing you have to do is just basically go into a uh, file and from there go into preferences here and the settings and to the application proxy here and once you are in here you basically you can edit that setting the JSON file so as you can see right here all our different setting different kind of um, setting that we have choose to our editor is stored here um, so here in my case i'm basically i'm 
I'm, I'm setting my java.home environment variable into my wherever my JDK is located. That's the thing you have to make sure where your JDK is located and set that into java.home. Okay, in my case, I have already done this one. So at this point, so when you change this environment variable, the, the code editor try to restart it. It asks you to restart and just click OK. It automatically restarts. All right, so next thing now, we can go back into our code here. And close the others, just leave this one here. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Here, as you can see, there's a run and debug. I'm gonna go ahead and run. It says hello. It's printed right here. Just to make sure, let's see. Um, I'm gonna write little private that void. Or, you know, it's just all right. Okay, let's so go ahead and call our method here loop example and as you might have guessed you know it just it should be able to print this one just go ahead and print okay pretty cool it's in console you can see all the output so uh, the thing about the the way I I wanted to show this one this because like sometimes we would like to test our Java code and write you know very simple code and easier because I know I use I use a lot of uh, Eclipse and I use all kind of um, heavy set editor for Java like Eclipse or NetBeans or all the other different editors from IBM. These are really bulky. Those are really, really bulky. But this editor is really fast. This one is even much, much better than IntelliJ if you are a Java developer and using IntelliJ for a long time. So this is really an uh, awesome tool. So I want you to, you know, have it as one of the arsenal in your tool set, in your toolkit so that, you know, you can write the code faster. Anyway, let's let's say um, next thing I'm going to do. I want to show you how to put a breakpoint here in our code, and then debug uh, and put a debug in our code here. Go into debug, and then you basically say a toggle breakpoint. As, as you toggle, you can see little little uh, debug icon, little red icon um, here, as you can see, and then uh, that's gone. This toggle breakpoint, or oh, you can do F9. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and debug here. Hit the debug. Cool. So now it comes into it. You can see the breakpoint. It hits our breakpoint right here into line number four. And then using this, um, you know, this tool right here, we can step into it, and we can inspect here. As you can see, it's really neat. And then you can even. You can even do this right here. It's beautiful. See all the ASCII value. I mean, all the values of our character, ASCII value of our character listed right here. And it's really, really cool too. Okay, so anyway, so, oh, so it's nice. You can go deeper into, you know, into the actual code and see what's really going on. So when you go here, how the printing really works. Go, go into write. You can de basically debug the whole Java code. Isn't this awesome? Look at that. Ensure it's open. You can go into we have 11. We write, we, uh, so behind the scene, of course, this is how Java basically writes. And as you can see, it's our in output comes out right here. OK, guys, this is really, really, um, I hope you, you're going to really like it if you don't have use um, Java code in Visual Studio, I mean, the, you know, Visual Studio Code Editor is, is one of my favorite, you know. I have the, I, this day I write most of my code from C-Sharp to Java to Python, you named it. I love to write in from, well, even HTML and, you know, you, whatever you plug in these. It has huge amount of plugin. And then configuration is not that bad because, you know, people have, it's open source and there's huge amount of open source community. They write a lot of extension for Visual Studio Code.
Anyway, I just wanted to share this one for you guys. Thank you so much for watching.